dig into the stimulus measures at hand in regards to helping Americans hit hard as business is shut down. And a lot of people brace for a wave of job losses here across the country. Uh, in New York, a lot is being made with a new plan to potentially waive rent uh, in the state. And I want to bring on the mind behind that, a friend of the show. He's been on before, Senator Michael Giannaris um, from Queens. And Senator Giannaris, we, we heard Governor Andrew Cuomo talking about how little stimulus is actually going to be given, even in this $2 trillion package, to the state of New York, one of the hardest hit states out there right now. Uh, why do you think that you need to go even further to help uh, Americans, New Yorkers, uh, have some help here on the rent front? Well, I think the scope and magnitude of what we're about to face economically is unprecedented. And I don't think we are catching up nearly quickly enough to what's about to happen. Next week is April 1st, when most rent bills come due. We now have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers who uh, live paycheck to paycheck, who've just been denied their paycheck through no fault of their own. Government has shut down their work, shut down their businesses. Um, and so we are going to face this housing crisis uh, sooner or later. Uh, and if we could put a regulatory structure around it, we could manage it a lot better than just allowing the rents not to be paid. Because if there's no money, those rents are not getting paid anyway, let's be clear. Um, and then what's going to happen is mortgage payments are going to fall behind. You're going to have a wave of evictions and foreclosures uh, in a couple of months time that, if not managed properly, will lead to even more disaster than we're already looking at. I think the smart thing to do is let's just put a we put a pause on the economy in New York. Uh, let's just put a pause on uh, the financial obligations that people have. And rent is, is often the biggest one. Let's say for 90 days, no rent payments for 90 days for landlords that need that rent to make their payments, no mortgage payments. And then let's figure out what kind of aid we need to structure around that to help everyone get back on their feet as quickly as possible. How might that be different? Because we did hear uh, Governor Cuomo talking about some of those measures to you, giving property owners a 90 day waiver for paying mortgages uh, and a three month suspension for commercial and residential evictions as well. Uh, but how would, how would your plan go a step further in regards to that too? Um, because a lot of people, as you said, are not sure where they're gonna be making money here if their businesses remain closed. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. Those measures were important and necessary, but all they do is kick the can down the road three months. Uh, if you don't have money to pay your rent this month, you're not going to have three months worth of rent to pay in three months. And so allowing those obligations to accrue um, is only going to lead to a wave of, uh, of housing uh, actions in three months time. Unless we suspend the obligation to pay those uh, those rents at all, uh, then people can start recovering once things get uh, get to the point where we could reopen those businesses and get those jobs flowing again. But if all we're saying is you still owe rent, you just don't have to pay it now, or you still owe your mortgage, you just don't have to pay it now, what's going to happen in three months when that money's not going to materialize out of thin air? They're still going to owe three months worth. They can't even pay one month's worth right now. Um, so I don't think that's the ultimate answer. Hey, it's Brian Chung here. Uh, I wanted to ask about the financing at the municipal level. So there's been a lot of concern that with all these businesses closed, there's no tax receipts. So the local municipalities, whether that's in New York, uh, New York City or New York State at large, will not be able to collect on things. How, how do you keep the lights on from a municipal standpoint? Is there a concern about uh, muni debt and the ability of uh, localities to finance through the next uh, few few months? Um, I, I think we'll be fine in terms of staving off any uh any bankruptcy or failure to meet our obligations. It's just going to mean some very uh, terrible decision making in terms of cuts we're going to have to make. I was in the state assembly uh, uh, over a decade ago when the, when the Great Recession hit and we had the stimulus package back then. That pales in comparison to the numbers we're projecting right now that are going to affect our city and state budgets. Um, and so my understanding from our budget experts is we're not in danger of failing to meet our obligations, but we are going to have to cut to the bone and make some very difficult choices about where the state's spending its resources. Yeah, and as we heard from Governor Andrew Cuomo, a likely 10, potentially $15 billion shortfall this year as the costs to respond to coronavirus continue to soar. But for now, uh, Senator Giannaris, thank you so much for joining us to bring more on that plan uh, to our viewers. Appreciate it. Thanks very much.